What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have a really cool mail day video followed by opening these packs including a Cosmic Eclipse pack. But first before we get started if you'd like a chance to win these expedition cards please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Anything you'd like um, and you will get the opportunity to potentially win these two cards. Both are from Expedition. So we have the classic e-reader design. Um, with that being said, let's get right into this mail day before we open those great packs. So I did, you'll see a little tear in the package. Um, that was from me. I tried to record this opening, but I didn't have a cutting device down here with me. And uh, so I kind of had to like restart the recording. But with that being said, let's just crack right into this. I'm not sure if there's going to be an invoice or not. I really don't want to show the other side of the package because it has um, personal information on it. We'll throw that off to the side. And awesome. Okay, so let's check this out. Oh, that is so cool. An actual thank you card from just an eBay purchase. Thanks for buying my card. This is my first time selling on eBay, so thanks. Holy cow, that is incredible. Whoa, that's actually really cool. Um, so this is somebody's first sale on eBay. That's that's pretty significant, folks. Comment down below. There's something to comment. Comment down below if you remember your first sale or purchase on eBay, and feel free to include any details on like why, if at all, it was significant to you. Okay. So this is a card. It did come in a sleeve and a top loader. So they did a great job packaging this thing all together, I will say. So that will go in my positive feedback for them. And let's just take a look at this card. So it is Japanese. Pretty decent condition. There's a little black spot on the back. I'll have to see if that'll come off with like a microfiber cloth. Otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Now let's check out what we've got. We've got a Raichu and a Lolan Raichu GX tag team, tag team GX, and this is an alt art, so an alternate art. This, if you don't know, the original, um, you know, alternate art, so to speak, came from the Sun and Moon era, far before we got them in Sword and Shield, which are much more common. Um, and this is one of them. Now, the cool thing about a lot of these alt arts in Japanese, you can actually pull them from packs, whereas a lot of the alternate arts in English that came over were just released as tin promos. This obviously being one that you could open from a pack. So if you want a chance at opening this card, you can buy SM10A. Is the you know If you just typed in Pokemon SM10A on eBay, I'm sure the booster boxes will come up for you if you do a little bit of scrolling. Very cool card. I got this for about 40 bucks. When we look at the price of modern alternate arts, you know, it's a, this is well within that price range. This alternate art is cheaper. <laughs> I'm sorry. This alternate art is, um, you know, a little bit more scarce because it's older. So there's, a, you know, some degree of an attrition rate with the, with these things. Um, kind of catching this corner. Okay. It doesn't look like anything, but you know, like some degree of attrition has taken place with a card that's a little bit older like this. Um, we're looking at a completely different iconic format. So we're looking at a not just a GX, but a tag team GX, whereas today we're working with things like Vs and Vmaxes. So I think that there's a lot of unique attributes about this card that kind of set it apart. Um, and the fact that you can actually pull this from a pack in the sun and moon era is kind of cool as well. So plus like you get the the really popular Pokemon in Raichu and Alolan Raichu. So all in all, I think that this card has decent fundamentals. That's why I bought it. Doesn't mean that you have to. But that kind of sets the tone for the theme of today's video. We'll just leave that front and center. So the two packs that we're going to open today are Cosmic Eclipse, as well as three Vivid Voltage packs. Now, the cool thing about all both of these sets is they both have like a nice summery, beachy vibe, as we can see represented on our tag team card. And both of these have Chase Pikachu cards. So in this set, obviously, we have like the Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX, and in this set we have Red's Pikachu, or the character rare of Red and Pikachu. So we're going to first crack into these three Vivid Voltage packs, and then we're going to end things off with Cosmic Eclipse as a little bit of like a last hurrah. So please do stick around. Again, if, at this time, if you have not liked and subscribed and left a comment on this video, this is a, you know, one of your final chances, well not your final chance, but one of your last reminders to do that. Um, not only to help kind of like boost this in, in the algorithm, but also as a chance to win that giveaway. So with no further ado, let's get started. I'm really excited to open up that Cosmic Eclipse pack. If you watched the recent video I uploaded of like my introduction or the channel introduction, who I am as a collector, um, you'll know that Cosmic Eclipse was one of the first sets that I opened when I got back into collecting Pokemon cards. And for, oh, nice Lugia. For that reason, um, 
it's always a treat whenever I can open Cosmic Eclipse. We'll save Pikachu for last, since that's kind of the, the star of the show today. Right? Now, another cool thing. So at the time of me recording this video, um, the Pokemon Go set was just released. And, you know, some people were able to get some Pokemon Go packs or boxes um, the night before the release. And that kind of made me think about when Vivid Voltage first came out. I actually got this set. Um, my Walmart was selling like sleeved boosters like two days in advance of the set's release. And so I thought that was really neat. That was kind of my first experience of getting a set early. Um, I will say the stock on this pack's cards are a lot smoother than the last pack. So I don't remember like if that's indicative of a reprint or what. But it is definitely a little bit more difficult to separate those cards. So if you see me struggling for a second, that's why. Um, these packs did come from like a variety of places. So some of these were from the tins that were on sale at Target on Black Friday. Um, a couple of these may have been from a Sword and Shield Premium ETB, like the you know the premium collection box or whatever that had like Zashin and Zamazenta's gold cards. They made like smaller ETB versions of those and I got some of these packs from there. So lots of different places. So I'm sure there's a couple different prints being represented and the card stock is definitely representative of that. As we get into Giraffe Rig, Alistair, Mudbray, Slugma, we've got Wishmer, Execute, Wubat, Taylo, and Shiftry. So we got skunked by Vivid Voltage, not even an amazing rare, which I actually have pretty bad luck with those. But if we want luck, it's definitely in this pack. Cosmic Eclipse, Blastoise and Piplup GX. I have pulled the gold version of this before. It was actually my first ever eBay sale. So it's ironic that we got that thank you card. Um, my first ever eBay sale was a Rainbow Rare Blastoise and Piplup GX. Um, and that was kind of like a revolutionary moment for me because that one card in my brain, at least, paid for like two packs of other booster packs. So it was pretty significant for me. I'm gonna get that thing out of the way. And we will get right into this. I don't remember what the pack trick is on Cosmic. It should still be four, I think. Hopefully we don't spoil anything there, but a lot of really cool cards that we could get here. So we could get Tag Team GXs. We could get character rares, the original character rares. We could get all kinds of cool cards here. Red and blue. Lily's Full Force. We've got a Dartrix. Skrelp with Palkia in the background. We've got Lillipup. Rowlet, Pansimian, Sfeel, a Reverse Rare Buzzwool, and a Hollow Rosa. All kinds of Hollow Bleed on that card. Wow. So we didn't get skunked here. I mean, you know, I'm not really excited about this Reverse Rare Buzzwool, and a regular Hollow doesn't really do it for me either, but at least we didn't get completely blown away on this pack. So. With that being said, everyone, I appreciate your time very much. Again, please like this video. Leave a comment down below to enter in the giveaway to earn, these, to earn a chance at one of these two expedition cards. I know it's nothing crazy, but you got to start somewhere, right? And then also, you're supporting me and kind of boosting this kind of content in the algorithm. So with that being said, thank you all very much again, and I hope to see you next time.